This is the most babies I have had one person have in an episode ever. Three babies in one episode from the same person. Wait, is our butler pregnant? Wait, hold on. Ask what Ravenna's problem is. Yeah, do that. and welcome back to another History of Windenburg video. I know it's been a while since we've had an episode of the History of Windenburg. There was just a lot going on in my main series, in the Royal Family series, so I needed to make sure I dedicated the time needed for that, but thanks for waiting. We are back. I've got some new stuff to talk about with the story and everything with you guys too, but first, so in the last episode, just a quick, quick recap. We had Princess Elizabeth, the oldest daughter. She she aged up into a child and then Ravenna gave birth to Prince Henry and Prince Henry is the heir and he's currently a toddler and then she got pregnant Arthur got her pregnant but of course we know that Henry thinks all these children are his children but Ravenna is pregnant and she's about to have her technically it's her fourth baby but a while ago two episodes ago that's when she killed her daughter Princess Reyna because she was seeing signs of Reyna being a vampire so this is going to be her fourth time having a baby. So in this episode, I'm gonna have Ravenna have like as many children as possible. We're gonna see how many babies she can have in one episode. She has three more to go because all in all, Ravenna had six kids. She's already had three of them. She's pregnant with the fourth one. So two more after that. I think we can do it in this episode. So I'm gonna have to like speed through time. I'm playing on the short lifespan anyway, but we're still gonna have to speed a bit and we will hopefully have all the babies in this episode episode and then after that that's when like all the other drama and stuff will start after all the kids are born that she had so we're gonna try to do that in this episode there's some things I want to go over as well but I feel like we should have Ravenna have her baby first and that way while she's like trying for the other kiddos and we're waiting around for the other ones, then I can go over the stuff that is needed. Now, I did get some new outfits and they are on my Pinterest board. So my CC is on my Pinterest board, which is linked in the description below. However, I've discovered, oh gosh, sorry, I need to put the walls down. I've discovered a new creator with like a ton of stuff. And I downloaded so much stuff. There was plenty of things for toddlers and kids and adults, teenagers, adults, elders. So I'm going to link their Tumblr page in the description below as well. They are called Medieval Sim Taylor. And again, this stuff is just awesome. So we have the dress that Ravenna is wearing. It is from them. And then I haven't put the kid, well, actually Henry's outfit is also from them. The kids don't have the outfits yet, but yeah, this whole thing, it was a set. So it came separately with the boots, the pants and the shirt or the top. Again, Medieval Sims Taylor. Page is linked in the video description below if you're into historical gameplay. And then for the kids, I'll put them in the outfits that I got later on, so we'll see those as well. Okay, but Ravenna is now in labor, so we're going to have her have the baby. Oh, she's upset about something on the floor. I don't know what, but we're gonna have her have the baby. So we already have a bassinet here. It cut, it's the one for the vampire pack, which has a little bat on it. Obviously no one else knows that she's a vampire except for Vlad. So she's saying it's for decoration. It has nothing to do with the fact that she's a vampire as far as everyone else is concerned. But okay, so she had a boy. So in the series, his name was Prince Derek. So it is a Prince Derek, a reminder, which I'm gonna go over in a second, but a reminder that this is a this whole mini series is a recreation of my first generation that already happened so names and everything are all picked out already this is prince derek and he is the second son of i mean henry thinks it's his son but it's not it is arthur's son i'm going to go ahead and just age him up i think while we're here we might as well so let well mm, yeah okay let's age him up after we get her to be pregnant again. <laughs> after we go see Arthur, we'll get her pregnant and then we'll come back, we'll age the baby up. I would like to be able to like do it all in cast at once. So we might see them in some different outfits at first and then I can change their outfits later on. So it is 3 a.m. I think now is a good time for her to go sneak out, tell, I, I guess, well, I don't know, maybe Henry thinks she's on a walk or it might be a very long walk though. So we're gonna have her sneak out after she is finishing feeding the baby. 
and then we're going to have her Arthur try for another baby. So again, it is just like baby after baby in this episode. All right, so we are now at Arthur's residence. So it is this, he, he doesn't have much. So it's this little tiny house on the, it's in Windenburg, but we're saying it's the outskirts of Windenburg. I have some story stuff to go over in just a second. We're going to, ha I mean, okay, she probably should have changed into something not so obvious, like, hey, I'm the queen, probably something a bit more undercover. Okay, there's a few outfits I still have to change, but I did finally change her night outfit. She kept wearing some outfit that was very different and not accurate for the time period whatsoever. So she kept wearing something else, but I finally changed it into a nightgown, which which I thought fit pretty well. So I'm gonna just have her change into that, I guess, but she'll change into her nightgown anyway when they try for a baby. Obviously we'll pretend that a couple months have passed since they've had the baby. All right, so we'll have them flirt and stuff. I think I've mentioned this in the past, but I know their relationship is like really high, Ravenna and Arthur. Just keep in mind that that's not necessarily the case. I just have to have it high so they would be able to try for a baby and stuff. But they know this is for like, this is what needs to be done sort of thing. Oh, she changed back into her outfit and kicked over his trash can. <laughs> and now she's picking it up for him. Um, okay, that was a sudden outburst that Ravenna had, interesting. All right, well, she, uh, she wanted to wear her, her queen wardrobe then, I guess, that's fine. So I'm gonna have them do their romantic interactions and then they're going to try for a baby. While they're doing that, so I want to go over a few things. There is just something I want to do as a reminder. I know these episodes don't don't come out as often so I try to do the reminders as much as possible just to make sure that everybody is on the same page because I know there has been a lot of questions and comments so okay I think they're trying for a baby now okay but I just want to reiterate a few things so as I had mentioned before as I've mentioned previously this mini series is a recreation of my very first generation of my royal family so I have the main series on my channel which is the royal family series and that generation I started when I was on oh sorry that series I started when I was on gen 5 so I had played all these generations beforehand before I even started the series and before I uploaded videos onto my channel. So that's what we're recreating is my first generation. I had no plans to make this a YouTube series whatsoever when I had first done this. So there was a good amount I don't remember, but because there was already a family tree in place, that means that we have to make sure things follow in this series. So it turns out the way it is on the royal family tree. So specific people or specific kids that got married and had kids and the names of those kids, that all has to stay the same. So that all is already established. However, there is room for other details to be added, like the relationship, um, how Arthur and Henry, how they get along, which I'll go over in a second as well. So I just want to do that as a reminder because I some people I think had forgotten and they were recommending baby names. Um, so yeah, we, we don't need baby names for this series. I appreciate it, but not for this series, for the other series. And then also a reminder that this series Series will end when Ravenna dies. It's gonna be about, I, I still wanna say about episodes or so. So we will see what happens there. And I, I have things planned. I'll talk about that later. Another thing too, a lot of people were wondering about Princess Elizabeth's descendants. Pretend she's not going to school right now too. Oh, where, wait, do you have work or something? Oh, he, I don't know what, I don't know. Does he have an occupation? Oh no, he's just, he's just picking up the trash. That's fine. Okay, but anyway, so a lot of people were wondering about Princess Elizabeth's descendants and saying, oh, what if her descendants come back in the future? She doesn't have kids. She doesn't get married that's on my family tree she didn't really appear i think the first or she doesn't appear when i show the tree later in my royal family series because the sims it calls c-u-l-l-s it calls sims on the family tree which means it like deletes them after a while so that's why a lot of sims weren't showing up but she doesn't actually get married or have kids she actually dies pretty young so we'll see more about that later too and then okay so this is what i want to go over because as you guys know this mini series it's like a brainstorming and a process for the final product, which will be like a little short film, probably between 10 to 20 minutes long, sort of like the very first episode, the intro of the very first episode of the History of Windenburg series. So those are called machinimas. That will be the outcome. So this is just a process. So I know things might get a little bit confusing because I'm like bouncing off ideas off of you guys, but you guys have been great in giving me some great suggestions too. You know what? We should probably go back to the palace. It's getting to be morning time, but you guys have been giving me great suggestions and you're your suggestions have been able to help me like build and put more details and it's really 
really great because when I had first played this, I had no goal or anything with it. I was just playing for fun. I was playing on like the short lifespan. So it was really quick. I never really got into detail with any of the families before I started my series. I had mentioned in the last episode, I asked you guys, oh, you know what? We should age up Prince Derek now. So we talked about how Henry and Arthur, like why they don't get along, like what the history is behind them. And I had mentioned, cause some people had suggested something about, it was something army related, which was really great. If you, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember off the top of my head, but if you want to remember, you can go back and watch the last episode. But um, something where I had mentioned that Henry, cause he's the first king of Windenburg. So his parents weren't royals or anything like that. However, I do believe they were very wealthy, but he was a general, he was the general that led not expulsion, but the, the destroying of Ravenna's hometown. All right, so Prince Derek aged up. I'm going to randomize this. He's ah uh, angelic. I actually don't think that fits him. He's a fussy. That fits him a little bit better. Okay, so I will redo his outfit when I do the other kiddos outfits as well. But anyway, so I had shared a comment talking about Henry and Arthur and maybe the reason they don't like each other. Having something to do with them being in different regiments of the army, I, that might not be correct, but it was something along those lines and it was a very good idea. It definitely adds a lot of depth. However, because this is a Sim series and because the machinima at the end of this series is going to only be between like 10, 20 minutes long, I want to keep this as simple as possible. So I probably won't go that much in depth with like the army stuff and, and the military stuff. But some people had mentioned something else and given other suggestions about Arthur and Henry being half brothers instead of full brothers. And I think this is a great idea and I have developed a backstory for this. And I think this is what we're officially going to go with. This is an official statement for the relationship of Arthur and Henry. So I just mentioned Henry comes from a fairly wealthy family. Oh, okay. He just went swimming. That's fine. His bathing suit is not accurate at all, at all but that's okay. Um, so I had mentioned that he comes from a wealthy family. So we're going to say that as a baby, when Henry was a baby, his father had an affair with another woman. And the product of that affair was his half brother, Arthur, which is now the father of a lot of these children. So Arthur is Henry's half brother and he's a little bit younger. I wouldn't say that much younger, maybe like a year or so. But then Arthur grew up and never knew who his father was. His mother never told him. Sorry, we're just looking at um, Henry's feet. He's like in the trees. That's fine. He's hiding. I don't know. Uh, but the affair happened and Arthur grew up without knowing who his father was. His mother never told him. I don't think it's relevant to have the names of their parents. So we, we, we don't need to do that. But then maybe when he got older before Henry was king, because again, he doesn't come from royalty. He just like discovered this land and now he's king. But before he was king, Arthur's mother was very ill and she ended up telling him who his father was. But I think at that point, Henry and Arthur's father and Henry's mother would have passed away. So it was just Henry and Arthur came to him and asked him for help, asked him for money, told him who he was, told him he was his brother. And Henry shunned him out, didn't want to listen to him, didn't give him any money. And because of that, because Arthur didn't have any money to help his mother, she ended up dying. And that probably was like a couple years, several years before Henry found Windenburg and became king. But then Arthur moved to the outskirts of Windenburg. Henry probably doesn't know he's there, but all this hate and anger has been festering in Arthur for years and years, and he's always wanted to get revenge. And then especially after hearing that Henry is now the king of this new land, that probably made him hate him even more. And then one day, I mean like years later, but one day the wife of his half brother comes to him and has this whole plot for revenge. And he's like, oh my gosh, yes, this is the opportunity I've been waiting for. So that is the backstory and that's what I'm going to go with. And I know things have changed and I've kind of mentioned some stuff previously to you guys too. So hopefully that's not too confusing, but this is the official statement that I am giving. I know when the machinima comes out that obviously will have like all the correct information that I've gathered and what I've decided on. So you guys will probably hear some different theories and stuff during the mini series. 
but the machinima will have all the final stuff. All right, so we're on the short lifespan. I also had Ravenna read like all the vampire tombs. I don't, I think the other ones are in the bookshelf or something, but I made sure that she read all of them, like even the ultimate one, but, oh, oh right, Ravenna doesn't age. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but the, we're on the short lifespan. Henry actually ages up into an adult in a day. I don't think we need to do a birthday for him, right? That's, yeah, yeah, we're okay. We'll, we'll just do those for the kiddos, I guess. Um, and then Elizabeth, she still has, oh, she has four days. I'm so not used to playing on the short lifespan. So when I see it like this, only this far along, then I think that there's like, I don't know, 30 days or something because I'm so used to playing on the long lifespan, but no, only four days until she ages up into a teenager. And then what about little Prince Henry? How long does he have till he ages up into a kid? One day, oh, you know what? Ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, the toddler stage is only three days. Okay, so here's the thing. When Ravenna dies, I had imagined that Henry was still a, with uh, Prince Henry, that he was still a toddler. I guess like as a young kid, that would be fine too. He'd probably be around the ages of like six or seven. I was not expecting it to be so soon though. I didn't realize the toddler stage was only three days. That is not long at all. That's fine. I, I might just, bring it back a day. And the pregnancy, I'm gonna use MC Command Center so it doesn't actually fast forward any days. I'm gonna use the pregnancy cheats to cheat her into labor. Okay, so let's just minus one day. And then she's still like a, a day older than Derek. Um, That's fine, yeah, we'll, we'll do that for now. And then he'll be a kid when Ravenna dies. And then Princess Elizabeth will be a teenager when Ravenna dies. So, okay. Cool. Ravenna's here. I mean, they literally just had a baby, but we're going to have her have her other baby. Oh, she's playing violin right now. But I'm gonna use MC Command Center. Okay, I've cheated it, so she is now in labor. Actually, it worked out. Uh, I didn't have to change the gender at all because it, it was exactly what it's supposed to be. So, um, so we're going to, she's in labor now. Is your bassinet? Oh, yep, it's over here. Uh oh, the kiddos are making a mess. Have baby. And then we got one more to go after this. But yeah, we're definitely gonna be able to do this all in this episode. Thank goodness for cheats. Okay, so she had a girl. So the second youngest daughter of Ravenna's is named, when my series, when I started, was Belle. So it's Princess Belle. In the current series with the characters that are named Belle, they are, like their full name we've said is Princess, or is Isabel. So I, I mean, I guess we could say Isabel is her full name too, but Princess Belle. Okay, so Princess Belle Windenburg. So fifth baby check, awesome. Okay, so now we have to have our sixth baby. I guess we'll leave this, we'll leave Belle in the bassinet as an infant. And then when we get back from getting pregnant again, then I will age her up and do a toddler. And then once I have all of them as tod, oh my gosh, are they all gonna be toddlers at once? Well, by the end of this, I'll have Henry age up into a kid. We're just extra speeding through, so that's fine. So why don't we, I guess, whoa, wait, wait, is our butler pregnant? Wait, hold on. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. It's, it's pregnant with someone else's baby. I was like, is it pregnant with Henry's baby? <laughs> cause that would have been something. Although I don't know if I would have been able to keep it cause I have to stick to what's on the family tree. If they had the baby, it probably wouldn't have had kids on its own. So, okay, that's fine. Our butler's pregnant though. And probably going to be having a, a child soon, apparently. All right, let's go to Arthur's and try for our final baby. All right. Hello again, Arthur. We're back for more children. Let me have you guys do a couple romantic interactions. Ask risque question. I just realized I didn't even check if she was pregnant last time, did I? I just assumed she was pregnant and we left. Sorry about that. I should have like, I mean, obviously you knew she was pregnant. I should have specified though. So I'm thinking like, what if, like, I, I'm trying to decide, like, how would she know and how has she decided that she's had enough children? Like, was she in general like, all right, five. And then from there, our plans will continue to kill Henry. I don't know. Or what if one of the servants tell on her and then they tell Henry that she's been having an affair and then that's when she kills him. The latter is definitely more dramatic. <laughs> Maybe we should go with that. Now, 
It, you guys saw in the first episode of the series, the intro, Ravenna doing the like the vampire magic stuff and killing Henry from there. So, I mean, I assume she used her vampire powers to kill him and made it look like, uh, I don't know. We've already said the daughter died from an illness. I'm trying to think what we could say he died from. Maybe, I mean, Caroline down, uh, she, sorry, she drowned. That's how she died. Maybe that could be Henry too. He sure seems to be swimming a lot. So I mean, it's possible maybe, but like in reality, she would have used her vampire powers to kill him. In The Sims, however, I'm gonna have to use MC Command Center. So like how we did with Caroline, we had to cheat it. I said it was her vampire power, but that's gonna be in the next episode. So this episode, we'll be having all the kids. Next episode is the drama where we're gonna see Henry die or Venice gonna kill Henry and then yeah I'm probably gonna have we'll say that a servant told on her say that she's been sneaking out maybe it was a servant that Ravenna didn't know was watching her so therefore didn't get to use her mind convulsion thing on her compulsion I always forget is it compulsion or conversion no not conversion convulsion it's compulsion okay mind compulsion <laughs> the ability of a oh is an ability of immortals original vampires vampires and hybrids to control the mind of another simply through eye contact okay Okay, that's what it was. Mind can pulse. Con yeah, compulsion. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's have a baby. All right, we should now actually take a pregnancy test because I forgot to last time. I just assumed she was pregnant. Luckily she was, and luckily we didn't just leave and I was like, oh crap, she's not pregnant yet. Oh, she's not, okay, well this time she's not pregnant. So let's try for a baby again. Okay, so another pregnancy test. Hopefully she's pregnant this time. All right, take a pregnancy test. I also changed Arthur's pajamas so it wasn't just like blue checkered pants and like a lime green t-shirt, whatever. Wait, she's not pregnant again wait this has happened before where it says she's not pregnant but she is actually pregnant wait she's not okay she's not pregnant all right um i guess we're gonna do this again we we're almost there we need to have this baby and then once she gets pregnant and has another baby and like has the baby we will age up prince henry little baby prince henry and actually i don't know if princess elizabeth will age up into a teenager in this episode or not we'll we'll see and then i will just pick a few outfits and show them to you guys at the end and that will be the end end of this episode but all right baby time hopefully fingers crossed that they have a baby okay there were fireworks so i'm hoping that means she's pregnant third time's a charm yes question mark no wait what she's not she's not pregnant <laughs> okay i would cheat it but arthur's not showing up as an option in mc command center like it's only henry and and this baby has to be arth i will Okay, so this next baby doesn't actually, like she gets called from the family, it's a girl. Um, so she gets called from the family tree and she doesn't have kids of her own. I don't think she gets married either. Should we say that it is Henry? Could this one actually be Henry's child besides Elizabeth? Cause these three that we have here, so Henry, Derek, and Belle, they're the ones with all the descendants that we that now, we now currently have in the series. Should I try one more time? I think we should try one more time. If we're able to, We uh, he kind of got bored of, <laughs> of woohooing. No, he won't, they don't want to do it anymore because we've done it so many times already. Okay. If I do pregnancy start in MC Command Center, I'll link MC Command Center below by the way. But if I do pregnancy start, I only only get Henry as an option. Maybe the game is trying to tell me something. Let's do that. Let's say that Henry is the father. So it's a girl, so I have to put zero and then one. Uh, I'm not gonna actually go in and have them try for a baby. Honestly, they probably, she probably doesn't know whose baby this one is. Yeah, it's a tedious conversation from trying for a baby. Oh, it's getting to be morning time soon. Okay, let's go back to the palace then. All right, so why don't we go ahead then and, oh my God, there's gonna be so many toddlers. Why don't we go ahead and turn Belle into a toddler? We're gonna age her up, so age up. And as soon as we do that, we will have Ravenna have her baby. Oh my gosh, this is the most babies I have had one person have in an episode ever. Three babies in one episode from the same person who aren't multiples too. Okay, so we're going to age up Belle now. And she's aged up, randomized. She's a charmer that works and a, oh, whoops. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you need to have your baby. All right, MC Command Center cheats. We're going to pregnancy phase, in labor, and a long time has passed, nine months have passed, and we're going to have her have the baby. All right, baby girl. So this is Princess Mary. Princess 
Mary, oh, whoops, Mary, all right. Okay, so that is the last baby. What? Okay, yeah, it's almost Henry's birthday, so why don't we go ahead and make a cake? All right, so our butler has made the cake, and now we're going to have King Henry help Prince Henry blow out the candle. If it's easier for me to refer, I mean, well, we won't have to worry about King Henry for long, but I didn't know if it was easier for me to refer to them as one or the other. I'll just try to say King Henry for our adult king. King Henry and then Prince Henry for little Henry. I mean, he'll be King Henry II. Should I, should I call him Henry II? I can do that. Help blow out candles, uh, Prince Henry the second. I'll, I'll just say Prince Henry. I think that sounds better. <laughs> All right, so he's going to help him blow out the candles. I might wait to age up the baby Princess Mary until the next episode. So then you guys would see her as a toddler in the next episode. And then we'll just have Derek and, oh, oops. Okay, well, Henry's aged up hot-headed. Mm -hmm. Sure, that's fine. Um, I guess mental for the aspiration. So now, oh no, no, wait, I need, I need our, this Henry. So uh, King Henry, I had birthday candles. So he's going to age up into an adult. So blow out candles. Um, all right, so now King Henry is aging up into an adult. So he's aged up, cool. All right, so I'm going to pick the kiddos outfits and I will show you guys their new looks in just a second. All right, now I've only picked one outfit for each of them so far. Again, this is all by Medieval Sims Taylor, and their outfits are just really, really cute. So this is Prince Henry. He's super handsome. I think he looks so cute in this. And he, I think, is this the same hair he just had as a toddler? It might be. But that's Henry, and then we have Derek. So this is the next oldest. So he, it's the same outfit. It comes in like a ton of swatches. I'm going with red because in the beginning, in the first generation, red was the Windenburg royal family's color, but then that changed in the second generation. And then we have the second youngest daughter, Belle. This is her, the, they're just, the outfits are so pretty. Medieval Sims Taylor did a great job, but this is her dress. And then we of course still have Princess Mary, who we will see as a toddler in the next episode. And then we will see Princess Eliza as a teen in the next episode. But for now, why don't we say that a staff member, um, the, the butler that's here, maybe she tells Henry that she's noticed Ravenna's been sneaking out. Maybe Ravenna didn't know that she was watching her and therefore couldn't use her mind compulsion on her. Where'd she, I just saw her. There she is. So we'll just have her chat with Henry, King Henry, and pretend that she is tell it. Well, ask about another sim. What does Henry know? Oh, what do you think of your wife? I just realized too, I think this is a different butler than we've had in the past. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. This is just a random one that generated. It does, I mean, honestly, it doesn't have to be her. I'm just trying to set the scene. So she'll tell Henry and now he's becoming suspicious. I mean, there's a chance he could have already been like slightly suspicious. Like, wow, she goes on really long walks or something like that. So why don't we have Henry now go question Ravenna and be like, hey, this staff member was saying this. Is this true? Something like that. Let's do, all right, mean, uh, uh, yell at. I just feel like he's just immediately like, what have you been doing? Like, is it true? Have you been sneaking out? Well, let's wait until he actually starts yelling at her before I start coming up with stuff. But let me have him go yell at her wherever she may be. There you are. Okay, they're arguing now. Henry is like, what the heck? I heard that you've been doing this. Um, uh, Yell at, insult, uh, yeah, yell at. I guess shout forbidden words. Just start yelling, shove in words. I'm trying to think too, wouldn't she just use mind compulsion on him too to get him to stop being suspicious? <laughs> maybe she's still trying to, maybe she's still trying to master it. Maybe because, I, I'm sorry, I don't know how this stuff works with the vampire stuff with the vampire lore, but I was like, maybe because he's around her all the time and fair, knows her fairly well that maybe it wouldn't work as well, but I could just be making that up in my head. But then again, it's my world. I make my own rules. So maybe we can say that's why. Ask what Ravenna's problem is. Yeah, do that. What is your pro- Oh, whoops, yeah. What is your problem? <laughs> all right, so because of this, because now Henry's suspicious, so now Ravenna's gotta act fast for the next episode. Ravenna is going to kill Henry. I like, <laughs> I like how the butler just starts cleaning next to them. Like I didn't start this. So yeah, 
we're gonna end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know we like sped through things and just had like a ton of babies. So I know it was very quick, but we will be able to continue with more story stuff. I knew we would after the babies were born. So that's why I wanted to do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed all the babies and I hope you guys are looking forward to the drama in the next episode as well. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.